Hi everyone, this is Samantha here at the Chamber. Um, this is something new that we are going to start doing this year. So on each Chamber Chatter newsletter, um, there will be a short video um, at the very top for you guys to learn something. Um, whether that's learning something here at the chamber, learning something at the small business center, um, learning different tips and tricks that could help you as business owners. Um, so today we are gonna learn how to utilize your chamber portal. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen with you really quick. So this is the Roxbury Area Chamber of Commerce website. So when you are a member here with us, you have an entire portal dedicated to you that you can do many things with. And a lot of people and a lot of our members don't know about this. So I am here just to kind of walk you through. So if you go to our website, which is roxboronc.com, you'll go to members and chamber member login. Um, so for us, it's already gotten me signed in, so I'm gonna sign out real quick. So you'll need to enter your member number. Um, member numbers can be found on your invoices. Um, so if you have an invoice, you can find it on there. If you don't have one, let me know and we can make sure that you have it. So that is our member number here. Then you'll just type in your password. Um, again, same thing, if you've never logged on here before, you're probably not gonna know your password. So you can go through your forgot password um, process and that way you can get it all done. So you'll sign in and then from here, this is your portal. So this right here is how people can find you as well as how you can keep your information up to date with us. So the very first part is the basic info. And again, this is how you can stay completely up to date, enter all of your social medias, your website, your email, phone number, your location. Um, something to talk about with your location. Um, do If you're a home-based business, unless you want people showing up at your house, don't put information there um, just because that's what's gonna show up in our directory when people go to look for you. Your reps tab, this right here, um, I clearly need to update. Um, but so we're logged into the administrator side of it. So you can create reps. And this is where, say, you own a business um, and you also want your managers to be able to log into here. You are a social media person, marketers, however, whatever you have. Um, you can put them in here. And basically, they can do everything that you can except make big changes as well as they cannot do anything um, like financially. They can't pay for anything, can't do anything like that. That is only for the administrator. So that's what this is. Your account right here is where you can find any and all invoices. So if you want to pay your chamber membership dues online, this is where they'll all pop up. If you are a sponsor or you are doing a donation and you want us to invoice you, this is where it'll go. So if you would prefer to do this rather than write a check or stop by, this is another way that you can do it. Profile, again, same thing. This keeps your information up to date with us. You can put in there how many full-time and part-time employees you have your business description, as well as what category you fall into. Um, that is super beneficial because again, this is what people see when they log on to our website. We try to keep it as up to date as we can, um, but we have about 400 members, so that gets a little complicated sometimes. So this right here is how you can make sure that you're completely up to date in our system. Business Center is where you can put in different items that go directly to our website as well as your portal. So anytime a, someone reaches out to us seeking a referral, um, it'll go right here in your portal as well as you should be getting an email with it. Promotions, if you are having a sale, you're having an open house, you're having anything like that, you can put it here in the promotions part. 
that is all you. You can totally do that. Um, you don't have to let us know. It automatically goes in there. Right here, jobs, same thing. You can list any open jobs that you may have. And so with that, you'll be able to post job openings um, or if you're seeking, what you're seeking, different things like that. Um, news, same thing. We have a news category and you can put news in there as well. And so that is all there is to it. Um, again, this member portal is for you. It comes with your membership. It's extremely relevant and extremely useful. You just need to know how to take advantage of it. Um, again, this is for anyone that didn't know about it. If you have questions, please still let me know. Um, again, I know a lot of people didn't know about it. I've slowly learned that. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm very sorry about that. I know when the changeover happened, um, I'm sure they thought they reached everyone, but maybe a few people got missed in the mix. But again, this is something new that we're starting where you're gonna have a quick tip on here. They won't all be as long as this one. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and kind of explain that whole portal to you. So that way it'll make your life a little bit easier. But that is it for this, and I will talk with you guys soon. Bye.